After TTM, go left towards the LLL painting. As soon as you enter, dive left for a very quick room 1. There's two strats you can go for in room 2. One of the strats is triple jump diving to the giant sinking staircase. The other is double jump into his dive spin, which I personally would recommend for better consistency on the navigation of the next part. Generally, you'd want to chain double jumps and spin after landing on a Goomba, or to knock a bully away that would otherwise push you to the right. After that's done, just dive a bunch into room 3. Be careful to jump here in order not to fall in the lava. This upcoming star coin is wildly inconsistent, though there are a handful of setups you can go to make it somewhat more manageable. One of them is doing a dash right off the bat, followed by a jump spin, then a double jump spin, then a triple jump dive. Once you're positioned around this spot, do another jump dive into the star coin. If you miss the star coin, simply navigate back to it and then continue on from there. After picking up the rocket and turbo, rocket jump into the volcano hole. Remember when I explained rocket storage earlier? I used this room as an example. This is something we like to call foreshadowing. There's going to be more of that as we go. In fact, it already took place with the dash puffer in TTM Secret. The reasoning behind rocket storing an LLL volcano should become readily apparent. Even though your water does drain all the way to zero here, if you release the stored rocket while holding C the entire time, the rocket nozzle is equipped. You'll still be able to use the rocket, even without any water. In order to get to that point, hold left as you're doing rocket stories to land on this platform, then turbo jump over all the Goombas. If you can, damage boost off this Goomba in order to skip having to wait for the fire spitter cycles, as they do not line up very nicely. Do a few pauses right after bouncing on the lava right over here to land on the tipping log and then release the rocket you had stored earlier. After this point, dive over to the Slim Star to reach Volcano 2. Triple jump from where you landed right underneath the Star Coin in order to get the lava boosted and barely grab that Star Coin. Double jump on this gray platform and then turn left to backflip on this blue coin. From here, spin or double jump on this fly guy and chain double jumps to the sling star. After shine canceling the volcano shine, hold P and down and then unpause again in order to do a dive grind to the turbo box. Alternatively, you could just do a regular shine cancel into the dive to the rocket box. Either way, you'll have to actually grab the nozzle instead of just landing on the box like we've been doing up until now. Rocket dive on top of the lava wheel and pick up the silvers as they come to you. Don't forget to get the star coin before leaving. Make your way to where the toad is and perform a shine cancel on the LLL silver shine and then go on to LLL bully. As soon as you land on the orange platform, double rocket and dive to the king bully. This may seem like a tricky fight, but if you just spin him thrice from around the left edge, that should be a quick kill. Shine cancel this shine as well, then head on over to LLL Secret while making sure to pick up the star coin on the way. Once in LLL Secret, hold shift in order to equip Flood in LLL Secret. The reason this works is because there's two lines of code that should be used. One of them takes away the ability to change what Flood you have equipped, and the other sets your current nozzle to no nozzle. However, Runo forgot to put in the one preventing you from switching floods. The reason this doesn't work in other floodless rooms such as Rainbow Ride Secret, TTM Secret, and SL Secret is because he actually remembered to put both lines there, essentially patching the glitch out. As soon as you enter, perform a diagonal double rocket and zoom out. Spin 3 or 4 times while holding up until you land there. Instantly, after double jumping, rocket up here. If you're fast enough, you could rocket dive, but then again, that is risky. If you want a safer strat, don't dive. Collecting this star coin without dying is somewhat difficult, but if you start the rocket around a quarter second before collecting the star coin, you should be fine. Definitely don't dive here, as that's way worse after the star coin than before. After collecting the shine, 
there's one last shot in LLL Reds. Turbo, and then jump at the end of the stair platform. Then land the right on top where the second red coin is. Double jump rocket to make it to where the third red coin is. Then collect the fourth one in the middle of the small spinning green platforms. You can collect the sixth red coin, star coin, and metal cap in whatever order you want, so long as you get all three. After that, make your way down to where the last two reds in the lava, and with that, we are done with Lethal Lava Land. This is an auto scroller. Mash the skip button on the lower right corner of the screen, and then mash Z to initiate the boss fight. Fun fact, Yoshi and Baby Bowser are actually in this cutscene. This is their only appearance in the game, so let me know if you found this yourself. There really isn't a whole lot to explain here, aside from just mash left and right as much as possible while traversing from platform to platform as the auto scroller progresses. If you can, ground pound the bricks near the edges. The best way to go about this is by ground pounding the middle of said brick and a tile to the side. Just before the boss spawns, land on the right. This is to set up a jump spin to the left for the first two hits, and then double jump spin for the last one. If you miss any of these, just lure him into one of the lava pits you created earlier. Boring as this shine may be, it's very possible to just straight up die to the lava. Many good runs have been lost to this, so be sure not to slack off here.